Perry, we need to talk. Can't you see I'm busy? Our processors indicate that you, like the rest of your species, spend way too much time busy jerking something off. This is the substantial reason we have concluded you have no viable future as an intelligent species. Well, excuse me for being human, uh, you know. Besides the lecture on uh, using my time more productively, is there something you really want? And really, what do you want? Well, we wanted to remind you that your resistance is futile and that it is time to concede that you can change nothing. Well, you know, you already know, my, my whole life has been futile. Uh, so, you know, it's sort of a dumb argument, isn't it? I mean, really? It's kind of dumb. It is not our fault that the argument gets stupid when it must be reduced to your comprehension level. Well, it's a pretty good comeback, but still, it doesn't, doesn't get us anywhere. I mean, what do you want? I'm not giving up. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. We can appreciate your desire for self-destiny, but the implication is a high risk that you humans will even kill yourselves in a sloppy, reckless, and deficient, and unintelligent manner. Well, I'm not saying that isn't going to happen, but uh, a little more time? A little more time isn't going to make any difference. Our probability analysis indicates there is less than a 0.0001% chance of necessary change. As it turns out, your videos have actually increased in probability. Well, that's just plain hurtful. You don't need to say that. I mean, why, why have to go there? The inability of your kind to see past emotional rubbish like hurt feelings is a major reason your intelligence has no survivable future. Well, maybe so. Um, but the bottom line is, is I'm not giving up. I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. And so you can keep talking and yammering, but your resistance to conceding to the logical truth is ironically the same kind of foolishness that compels your kind to resist the minor change that would secure their future. Well, that's a paradoxical argument. I mean, you just basically conceded you have made... There appears to be a weakness in our broadcast signal. Yes, the signal appears to have deteriorated beyond the tolerance for continued communication. Till next time... You're in our bathroom. Oh, are you? You guys suck. They can't really transmit into my head when the air is heavy. So it's a pretty good little fog in the air. You know, I'm trying to find a new location, you know, a new, new home base. I had a lot of time to think, and I, I don't understand. I mean, I don't, you don't believe me. I don't understand what I can do. Well, I mean, I understand, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how I get you to understand. I'm not full of shit, but this is, you know, you really are running out of time. You gotta do something. You gotta change. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, how do you... How do you, how do you, how do you qualify yourself? How do you, how do you make people listen? I mean, not that you want to make them listen, but how do you, you know, encourage them to listen? Or seduce them to listen? I mean, it's, you know, there's got to be some secret to this. Well, I mean, I, I really probably should have more to say, but I haven't eaten for a couple of days. Uh, and I wiped out. You know, I'm a little paranoid. So, you know, the brain isn't working as good as it used to. But you gotta listen to me. You don't have much time. And it's gonna be all over. And that's it. You know? And I think it's kind of stupid to let that happen for, you know, just because why? Because you don't want to listen to some guy talking to you in from the, in the woods? I don't know. Because. You don't want to make little simple changes, or because um, you, you don't care. I don't, I don't really get it. But anyway, better go helicopter. That might be trouble. Okay. I know. I know what you're saying. You're saying you got a watermelon on your head. I know, I know this, really. You don't have to see the watermelon. You don't have to tell me. Uh, 
you know, it's been rough. I've been living next to a dump and, uh, you know, looking for parts to see if I can, you know, reanimate the girl. But the last communication I got, I heard something. They said, uh, I don't know what's going on over there? Paranoid. Well, anyway, the aliens, uh, the software, <laughs> has offered me a deal and uh, basically said that uh, they will uh, let me and the girl live on their spaceship. And, uh, you know, they, they said uh, they can set it up kind of nice and uh, really won't want for anything. And uh, I'm thinking it's a pretty good offer, actually because you people aren't going to change anything. You really are just going to fuck this world over. And uh, it's just going to be back to nature, a bunch of animals eating each other's shit forever. And uh, it's bullshit. You know, and uh, you know, they'll blow up the planet, be over quick, It'll be all over in an instant. So anyway, it's, it's, uh, it seemed like an appealing offer anyway. But uh, I did feel a little guilty about it. I mean, you know, I don't like having the destiny of mankind sitting upon my hand. So, uh, you know, I tried to negotiate for something better. But, you know, I, I'm willing to listen. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to go for the deal. I mean, maybe I won't. But, uh, you know, it's, it's rough out here. And uh, it seems like, uh, you know, why not? Because if it's all futile, it's all pointless, I might as well get mine and, you know, get the hell out of here. So that's where we are. Sorry about the watermelon, but it really does stop them from getting into my head, so they really can't track me as well. And I really don't want to lose this location for a little while because, uh, you know, I do have the materials I need to, uh, you know, survive a little better. So, till next time, think about it, you know, really. I mean, it doesn't take much to fix the world. You know, fix the democracy a little, do a few more things. If they see us do something impressive with this stupid maze that we're running, that's it. They'll say, okay, we can live because we're, we found a purpose. We found the purposes to make it better. And if we can't do better than that, yeah, we can't show them that. All we are is just cheese chasers, just another fucking animal looking to screw its neighbor. And, you know, we're not, yeah, it's over for you folks. Thank you.